Hey, this is Matt Whitmer from Brody Precision. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Reflow, which is a responsive Niagara graphics solution that makes you, uh, creating and building responsive graphics super simple and easy, and you can do it all directly from the browser. So what is Reflow? Well, first off, I guess we need to take a step back and talk about what responsive graphics are. Responsive graphics are sort of what we've come to expect from the web in general. Uh, when you go to Facebook or any major website on your phone or on your computer, the layout sort of changes up a little bit so that it's easy to navigate uh, for those various screen sizes. And that's responsive graphics. Basically, your layout is changing automatically for the display size. From within Niagara, this has been uh, super difficult and um, time-consuming to set up and make use of. And I would argue that most of uh, the people installing Niagara aren't really user interface specialists. So having a package that sort of does a lot of this work for you is super beneficial. Uh, and that's what Reflow is. Because of that, you also have the ability to really easily build up some dashboards, very quickly pull in some points or some trends uh, or alarms onto a single page and show them very easily. And like I mentioned before, all of this is done directly from within the browser, uh, which is, again, something that we're not super used to seeing. Uh, Niagara is slowly getting there, but not completely there yet. And then on your station side, whether it's a supervisor or Jace, the setup uh, or the install of Reflow is super easy. All you're doing is installing a module and then dragging in a service into your services. And a benefit for all of the Vicon partners is that these licenses are included in your demo license. So it's really easy to pick up and try out and use um, for yourself. So let's break out of PowerPoint here and take a look at uh, the demos that Niagara Modules, the developers of this software package, have created to show off Reflow. All right, so I'm in the browser now, and I've pulled up the demo for uh, Reflow. And we're going to log in automatically. Uh, it's going to fill in those login details for you. And the nice thing about the demo that they've built up is that we have a couple of different options for use cases that we can take a look at. So we've got a university option. We've got a single building retail location, a national kind of multi-building retail location, and then a data center dashboard. So uh, I think we'll go back here and take a look at this single building retail location. And you can see the first thing that comes up is this home screen. Super uh, slick and clean. The layout is sort of what most users, I think, are expecting from a web interface on the web. With our navigation here at the top, and then a bunch of details about uh, various things throughout. All of this navigation is sort of done for you. You're just adding in equipment and into these different categories, and it's going to fill out you know, this kind of table-like layout here at the bottom for you. The graphs or the dials, um, totally configurable by you. You can put up whichever uh, specific uh, graphics and information you want on this page. Um, but now let's take a look at a floor plan. And you can see from the floor plan, we have this really uh, clean design. Obviously, the floor plan itself uh, is something that's not from Reflow. That's a 3D rendered uh, layout that came from uh, someone else, uh, but the zones and the overlays of the data is all handled from within Reflow. They have a really nice um, floor plan builder where you can bring in your image and bring in your different layers 
and different data points and things uh, sort of akin to something like uh, Photoshop or Illustrator when it comes to the, the interface. And again, all done from the browser. So uh, no matter the person who's going in can, can make those changes and, and build it so long as they have a web browser, which everyone has nowadays. So now I'll go to the equipment. And again, this sort of layout is given to you uh, automatically. All you're doing is adding in the equipment to the various categories. So we can go into a boiler and we've got our image on the left here. In this case, it looks like it's just an image, but it could be a PX that maybe you had built up already with live data and it'll show up exactly as you expect here on the left with your data and such. And then you've got your points on the right. Again, this is automatically built for you. Um, and you can get uh, things like your history that are available when you click on it, as well as uh, your different actions. Whichever actions you have unhidden will show up here automatically. And again, this is kind of uh, that responsive design thinking is when you click on this, uh, you get the actions and because you don't have a right click on something like uh, your phone or your iPad, um, it works identically there as well. You're clicking and there's no right click that's needed. And you have your typical things that you would expect from a user interface in Niagara. You have your alarm console and you have your histories as well. So if we go back to our home page, we can see all of that data we looked at before, and I can pull up a history, and I can do things like drag in and pull up uh, various pieces of information however I wanted to. Uh, so that is just a really quick overview of Reflow and why you should take a look at it. And the other piece that I mentioned before is that it's responsive. That's sort of the, the key uh, feature here, and we can see that in action with in my browser I'm just using the the responsive design mode which lets me see the different um, layouts that we would get depending on our screen sizes uh, if I go back to the home page here we can see that all of our data has sort of automatically relayed itself out in a way that is very easy to navigate and if I switch devices it's it's still going to do that depending on uh, our screen width so that is Reflow in a very quick nutshell. We'll have some more videos in the future that go into a little bit more of the details and engineering side of things, but uh, super easy to use. Uh, we're having a lot of contractors. Uh, we're seeing this used on smaller projects because it's so easy to get off the ground and uh, it's not price prohibitive at all. Uh, so if you have any interest, reach out to your Brody uh, sales team and uh, they'll be able to get you some pricing on it. And uh, we'll have more videos for you in the future on it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.